Hi everyone, I have a birthday card tutorial for you today. I am starting with the assorted box of cards and I have picked out a really pretty um, salmon rose color uh, card and this is the pre-done cards. The next thing that I'm using today is cardstock from the Recollections Seaside Pack. Um, I got this in a recent craft haul, I will link that below. Um, and the color that I'm using today is the last color in the pack and that is the sand color. So I've already cut down a piece of cardstock to a specific size and I cut that cardstock down using my uh, paper trimmer. So you just line it up and slice it along and the guideline measurements I'm using are from uh, the punch set that I recently got for um, my birthday for my best friend um, and I'll link that birthday haul below as well. So the punch set comes in two pieces. There is first the corner piece, and then second, the long piece. And all these um, drawings on here are for lining everything up um, so that you get the correct um, pattern. But you can't use any size that you want just because these are set uh, punches in the back and you can't block it off. This adjustability is just too do this for storage. It doesn't actually change the punch in any way. So it tells you on the paper what measurements you can do and how to do it. So the piece of cardstock that I cut down was a 3.5 inch by a 5 inch. And it'll tell you that for the 5 inch you need two corner and two straight. And then for the 3.5 two corner, one straight. So it'll tell you all those sizes there and how to have everything out and measured for your card. So I actually did this off screen because it was a little bit difficult because it was my first time. It's not difficult to actually do it, but lining everything up, making sure you have um, everything done properly. So here's the cutout piece. It's a really pretty lace pattern. Um, but when you put it in the punch, you have to line up the corner in here perfectly and then punch um, and then when you're doing the next section you have to line it up along here and punch and my hands were just all in the way on camera so I did it off camera so there's that final lace piece there. So using my glue tape on the back of this piece I'm going to center it right in the middle here and stick that down and it's always nice to do it with your board so then you know you're centered. Now using my paper trimmer again I've taken a color from this uh, paper pack. It's the snap color vibe in the um, lights, brights, and bolts. And this is another pink that I've chosen. So let me just show you the color here. So it's a little bit on the salmon side, but it's lighter than the cardstock. Um, I took a bottom piece off of it with my paper trimmer, and this is a three quarter inch. And then off the end, I just snipped off another inch. So I've got this nice long, <clears throat> excuse me, a nice long band to place along the bottom of my card. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, snip the ends before I place it on the card um, because I want to have that um, little edge detail done. Now I've set that aside because I'm going to do some stamping. I'm going to be using just a thin a 65 pound uh, paper. Ideally I'd be using the uh, 110 or the 80 um, but I'm actually completely out. I'm just waiting for some more to come in. So I'm just going to be really careful when I'm coloring today. I'm going to stamp an image from the Lawn Fawn Baked with Love set and it is the KitchenAid mixer I'm going to go ahead and stamp and I'll be stamping that with my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. So fast forwarding a little bit, um, I stamped that image and I did coloring in the green with my Tombow uh, dual brush pens um, and that's the, the green one in the set here. And I couldn't do too much shading just because this is a really thin piece of cardstock. But I did want to get the shaded gray kind of metallic look on the bowl. So instead of coloring it in solid, I used my uh, Tombow uh, dual brush pen muted palette. I used the gray and the colorless blender. So I just touched the colorless blender to the gray to pick up some color and did the darker parts 
with just the actual gray marker and then the lighter blending with the colorless blender. Um, and then I wanted some polka dots, so I used a white gel pen to do that. And I'll just go ahead and fussy cut that image out now with my little detail scissor. And there it is all cut out. Now I set that aside and I'm going to get ready to heat emboss my sentiment. Um, this is my first time heat embossing for um, a card on this channel. Um, I have in here the silver um, embossing powder and just a little spoon and somewhere to put it. And then I also have my pigment ink. I'm going to use a black. Um, this uh, doesn't dry as fast as other inks, so I'll be able to heat emboss with it. And of course, you could also use your Versamark ink for this. So from that same Lawn Fawn stamp set, the Baked with Love, I'm going to use the Have a Sweet Birthday. And I'm just going to put that onto my stamp block. And then stamp that with the black. And it is really easy to line up the uh, blocks because they have the markings on them. So I think these are great. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, ink up that stamp. And ideally you could use your powder tool on this so that you don't have any uh, cling or um, any finger marks on this. But um, I don't have one currently. I will be getting one. Um, so there it is stamped out. We have a sweet birthday. And I'm going to go ahead right away and I'm going to put the silver embossing powder from Recollections right over top of that sentiment. And then just tap it off and that is ready to be embossed. So I'm going to go ahead with my Recollections heat embossing tool. I'm just going to turn that on, let it heat up, and it's nice and hot. I'm going to go ahead and heat set that greeting. And I hope you can see that on camera. It's got that really pretty uh, silver sheen to it. So again, this is a five inch uh, strip. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a small cut. I'm gonna go up in the middle and cut to the middle part. And then I'm gonna join them on one side and then the other side to make my little flags. And you'll see that cuts out, I'm just gonna cut a little bit higher on this one. Uh, this cuts out a really nice um, edge detail for your banner. And there I just did the same thing on both sides. And now I'm gonna start putting that card together. Now I want the sentiment to have some dimension off the card. So I'm gonna use my uh, 3D foam tape here. I'm gonna put a strip along the back. So there's that foam tape on the back. I'm going to peel off the green and I'm just going to line up where I'd like to have this across my card. And for that KitchenAid mixer, I'm going to use my Memento, or sorry, my Ranger Multimedia Mat. Um, because I cut out this part here, I need a stronger adhesive just so that everything sticks down because I didn't want that white on the inside. I really love having this detail tip on here. Um, it gets uh, into those little tiny areas that I need. And I'll leave a link below to the craft all that has that in there if you're interested. Now the last thing I want to add to my card is actually a little bow. Um, I did have a little um, mistake on the lace in the top here. Um, you can barely see it, but I wanted to do a little bow anyway, and I thought that'd be a perfect place to put it. So I'm going to attach that with my Memento, or sorry, my Ranger Multimedia Mat again. And there is the final card. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great day.